everyone. Welcome to Reasons for Roots. My name is Lauren and I'm so glad that you chose to click on this video and spend a few of your precious moments with me. So today I'm going to show you a flip through of exploring the history of medicine. This is more of a Charlotte Mason approach to science um, and is published by Master Books, but Memoria Press has put a little classical twist on it and they have the supplement questions and the teacher's guide. So I purchased both. So this is more of a, could be more of a Charlotte Mason. It can be more of a classical Charlotte Mason niche, <laughs> which I kind of fall into more classical Charlotte Mason. So with exploring the history of medicine, this is scheduled for sixth grade through Memoria Press. And I think on Master Books website is for fourth to seventh grade. It definitely is for middle school students. So if your child falls into middle school, uh, this would be a great curriculum for them. It is 21 chapters long. So we're so it's not quite long enough for an entire year. I guess you could stretch it out depending on how much science you do in a week. You could definitely stretch it out for it to be a whole year's course. We're probably going to get through this in the first semester, um, our first term, at least our first 10 to 12 weeks. I figure she will be have this wrapped up. Um, so let me turn the camera around and let me show you what it looks like inside. Okay, so here's the cover, Exploring the History of Medicine. This is from the Ancient Physicians of Pharaoh to Genetic Engineering. Okay, so here's the table of contents. So you will go through the first physician, Greek medicine goes wrong, fabric of the body, father of modern surgery, the living river, the invisible kingdom, triumph over smallpox, Davy dead, deadens pain, Morton defeats the pain of surgery, Death House in Vienna, The Chemist Who Became a Doctor, Joseph Gloucester Fox Infection, The Search for Disease Germs, Louis Pasteur again, Dr. Lyons Limes, The Hidden Hunger, Mysterious Race, Useful Radiation, Wonder Drugs, Mo Bottles Bacteria, and Medicine in Today's World. So at the end of the book, you also have the answers to your chapter questions. So you will see, so each chapter is about, let's see, so about eight, six to eight pages long. And so you see that it's just text you read. They give you a symptoms chart here and ask you if you can diagnose the discoveries, okay, throughout as you read. It tells you about the great men or doctors. And then at the end, it will give you the diagnosis. So it asks you to try to come up with your own diagnosis. And at the end, it gives you the diagnosis. So at the end of each chapter, you have the questions, um, the question page. These are tr usually true and false with some fill in the blank. So you wouldn't necessarily have to have the, more, the Memoria Press Guide. Um, the, more, the Memoria Press Guide does go more in depth. But if you just want a few questions, this is sufficient for that. And then you can just flip to the back. Oh. And there's a review at the end and there are your answers right there. So here's the Memoria Press Guide. Um, here is the supplemental student questions. So it asks you to create a timeline and if you keep a book of centuries or a timeline, um, then you just basically add the different doctors or into that time period in your book of centuries or your timeline. So this is just all the questions for chapter one. So there's 11, yes, 11 questions. Some are two part and three part questions. So you'll see how the um, questions are a little more in depth, talking about each person. It's more facts driven, which is more 
classical monded. And then there's chapter two, chapter two is just one page, chapter three. And then you have a review. So every fifth chapter, you will have a chapter review and you could use that as a test if you would like, you know, whatever you like there. So for the Memoria Press Teacher's Guide, it looks, if you're familiar with Memoria Press, then it looks like most of their teacher's guides do. You have instructions there. And then you basically just have a copy of the student text, but you have your answers right now. Then in the back, you actually have tests. So you have a, I love the timeline they have here in the back. But then they also have tests. So you have your review in the student sections you could use as a test if you wanted. But the teacher's guide also has um, a test. And then the answers to the test are also in here as well. So this is something I'm really excited about her getting into. Science is something that we struggle with, I'll be honest. We we are on the struggle bus with science just because it's definitely with my sixth grader. It's not her strong suit and it's not mine either. So we're trying to find some stuff that works for her and for me. And I think this will be a great fit. So like I said, this will be about half a year. Memoria Press schedules this and then they schedule their bird unit. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about what we're going to do the second half. I thought I had it figured out, but you know how that goes. <laughs> So, so we are going to use this for the first section of our school year. Um, what I really like about it is the price. So this is a very affordable curriculum. I want to say that, oh, let's see. It was about $30 for this and the guides. You can buy just the book and use it by, your, by itself for like 10 or $12. So it's a very affordable science curriculum for your middle school student especially if you're looking more for a more Charlotte Mason or a classical themed science unit. So that's a flip through of Memoria Press or Masterbooks Combined Science Unit Exploring the History of Medicine. Um, I'll do a review of it when we finish it, but that's something that I'm really looking forward to. If you've used it, let me know how you liked it below.